All right, guys, I am making a quick video on what to do after ROSC. So after return of spontaneous circulation, if this is not spelled correctly, I'm gonna have to ask you to just deal with it, all right? I'm not sure, I just kind of wrote it up there. Um, but it's a free video, so don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, but anyways, so return of spontaneous circulation, I've already made a video on this, so if you have no idea what this is, I would go back to that video and then come back to this. And I'm only going over one consideration, one thing that both BLS and ALS providers can do for this patient out in the field. You know, obviously go with your protocol and all that stuff, but one thing you can do that has been proven to help the patient, um, patient's outcome. So what's next after ROSC? So you, you've been giving CPR to a patient that was in cardiac arrest because their heart wasn't pumping, right? It wasn't working. And they came back, but your patient is unconscious still. They're unconscious, they usually always are unconscious after CPR, but they're breathing and their heart is contracting on its own. So what's next? Hypothermia has been shown to improve the patient. So if your patient came back from CPR, you're doing CPR, right? You know, contraction, you're compressing on the chest. They came back and they're unconscious, they're knocked out. Hyperthermia is really good. Now don't go putting ice in these patients, especially if you're on the field. But what I'm, what I'm trying to get at here is that you're, you're taught in EMS class to keep the patients warm usually after any type of shock situation or you know, whatever happened to the patient. You're always taught, you know, keep them warm. Sometimes they still say elevate the feet, put an O2 on them and just go. Well, for patients that were in CPR that are now in ROSC, hyperthermia, keeping them cool will actually give them a better outcome. Now, the reason for this is that the neurologic recovery. It improves that. Uh, and this is strictly straight out of the, the AHA. And this right here is verbatim from the AHA as far as the temperature that's appropriate, 32 Celsius to 34 Celsius. Celsius. I'll leave it up to you to convert these, if you want to convert these, um, for 12 to 24 hours. That they had good outcomes. Now, neurologic recovery, in case you don't know what that means, we're talking about the brain. So if the heart wasn't contracting, it wasn't pumping, or it wasn't pumping adequately, then blood to the brain wasn't being provided adequately also because the pumper wasn't working, and oxygen is carried in that blood. So if blood wasn't getting to the brain sufficiently, that means, in, that, means that a sufficient amount of O2 was also not being provided to the brain. That's what that means. And I haven't really looked into this study and how it actually works. But just by me thinking about what cold does to the body physiologically is that it would slow down the brain. It would slow down the physiological function of the brain. So if something is slowing down, it doesn't need as much energy. It doesn't need as much food. So for example, if your body, if you're just resting playing Xbox all day, you won't need as much food as opposed to if you were out there jumping around playing basketball, working out. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? I hope you do. So that, that's the concept. That's how I look at this. And that's why this makes sense to me. Um, if you have any questions or if you look into that study and you actually have more information, by all means, please leave it in the comments below. That'd be awesome. Because I know I don't have time to look it up right now. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to start making a few more videos hopefully here. I know it's been a while, um, but they might get a little bit, bit more advanced, which is good for you guys if you stay in EMS because... I'm gonna be talking about ACLS, PALS, uh, just drugs that paramedics need to know and some nurses also. All right, so I hope this helped out and I'll see you maybe next time, bye.